ecosystems are complex. Trying to unpick how all these elements connect and interact is incredibly difficult, especially when you're trying to measure the impact of one single animal. But here in Cornwall, we have just that, a keystone species that's been reintroduced and giving us the chance to study them. Beavers. Originally indigenous to Britain, they were hunted to extinction over 400 years ago. These large rodents are incredible habitat modifiers, their dam building activity changing water flow and sculpting the landscape. Skills that could be put to good use here in Cornwall, where flash floods have caused devastation to homes and villages. So in June this year, a pair of beavers were released upstream of one of the worst hit areas. The site was carefully chosen for a unique scientific study. Could these two individuals really make a difference? Richard Brazier is a hydrologist from the University of Exeter. He joined the project over a year ago to monitor the water flow and quality before the beaver release. Samples from a recent storm enable Richard to show me the staggering difference the beavers have made. Yeah, so this is one of the samples for, from last night's storm. So this is this water that's flowed into the site, and as you can see, if we give it a shake, it's got quite a lot of sediment in there, uh, quite a lot of nutrients associated with that, uh, diffuse pollutants from the farmland upstream of the beaver dams. This is a sample from downstream, yep. from the one that's yep. on the other side Taken of the beaver territory. Taken at exactly the same time, yep. so um, immediately you can see it's clearer water. It's not as polluted because the beaver dams have filtered out the poor water quality. See, I know you've got to take this back and analyse it in the lab, but even just to the eye, it's a, such a noticeable difference. It's amazing. It really is. Yeah. The other important thing here is slowing the flow. We've got water flowing very rapidly off the farmland upstream, and it enters this site that now has five beaver dams. The water ponds, the, the, the flow is slowed, and it's released very, very gently downstream and so we don't see uh, a flood wave moving through the site uh, as we did before the, the animals started building these dams. An incredible success story in just four months. It's a nature-based solution to a man-made problem. Awesome, I love it. <laughs> the project will be closely monitored for the next five years and the hope is that this pair will breed next spring. Great to see Gillian so excited to see her beaver there. But you know, it's a brilliant project because it has baseline data and that means they've gathered information about flooding, about water flow and about species numbers from a year before the beavers were introduced, which means that they can have accurate information on before and after. I mean, it's really important, isn't it? And they've already got that in the form of biodiversity. They looked at the aquatic invertebrates before, 14 species in that area where the beaver dams are. A year afterwards, 41 species. So immediately, the beavers have increased that biodiversity, the species richness of life there. But they're not just about improving things for other types of life. They're also ecosystem engineers that could help us as well. And we've got a model over here <laughs> which we've built, which shows a cross-section of the British countryside. So here you've got the uplands, no trees there. We've deforested our uplands in many places, sadly. No trees on the slope either, and we've drained all of this area. So, Michaela, let's see what happens when we have a, an extreme weather event, lots of very heavy rain, as we're seeing with climate change. This is Storm Strachan. And it Storm races Strachan down the hill. Down, and it gets all the houses over. to Little Trumpton at the bottom. Oh. <laughs> and it completely submerges it. And immediately, pew, pew, Barney McGrew, Cuthbert, Dibble and Grubb, are rushing out of the fire station to try and help the people who are in this village. Now, I'm going to rebuild the village here, and we're now going to change the landscape by adding beavers to it. OK, I've got to get the water out. Hold on. OK, no, okay. get the water out, but I'll, I'll start adding the beaver. When I said the... extreme weather again, <laughs> completely <laughs> Did I overdo it? <laughs> Storm's tracking got yeah. carried away. OK, okay in, in, goes, in goes the beaver. 
Mm-hmm. So it's a very, it's quite a quite a big beaver there. <laughs> look, okay. look at the size of it. We, we haven't gone to scale. I mean, Are look, it's as big. Thompson? It's as big as the houses. Okay. okay, and I'll put that. And there's another one. There's another dam that our beaver has built, and that's going to go in there. Okay. I think we've drained it, haven't we? Okay. Pretty much. As we say, it's it's not to scale. Okay. But and look, the water that came out on that occasion was very very silty because it was all eroding all of the land that it was rushing down through there. Now we've got the beaver dams in place. We've transformed our landscape and let me just get the glass ready you ready off you go Michaela. an extreme weather Storm's event tracking. here Come. and what happens oh look, look at the that. beaver dams are holding up the water they're slowing the flow it's merely trickling down and trumpton uh, well okay the, the drains are overloaded on the streets but <laughs> it's not up around people's washing machines and sofas and and it's still actually a little bit silty but in real life it certainly wouldn't be now let's get serious for a moment we've had a bit of a laugh with our model here but when we have these sorts of events it ruins people's lives and it costs the economy billions of pounds but we have the potential for an ecological solution beavers can make a difference they slow the water flow through the system that's been monitored down on the farm there by up to 30 percent and the 13 beaver dams that he's got on his farm hold up one million liters of water so beavers really can make a difference and i think that we ought to salute uh, chris jones as being one of the foremost forward-thinking farmers in the uk in his interest in bringing back the beaver what i like it that as it said in the film it's a natural solution to a man-made problem and i've got to say that went better than we expected didn't it Martin? uh pretty much <laughs>